Oh, mate. You didn't deserve to end up like this. It's time for me. I'll talk to you later, girl. Be careful out there. I heard strange noises outside earlier tonight. It's fine. I already took care of that.
It's time for me. I'll talk to you later, girl. Be careful out there. I heard strange noises outside earlier tonight. It's fine. I already took care of that.
worked. This is incredible. Cats are magical creatures. Everyone knows that. Hey, how you doing there, mate? You alright? Okay, you pet him now. Then we shall go over to the other building and wait for the elevator. Huh? I'll explain it later. Now go on, show him some love. So, here's the plan. We need to get up to the top floor. That's where the box is. Behind the red door. Apartment 13. It's locked, but I can handle it. How exactly? I've been known for my ability to unlock things. With lockpicks. I'm not a burglar or anything, but it's a useful skill to have. Sometimes, it even saves lives. Problem is with the elevator. It doesn't work like it should. And that's where our friend Moonlight steps in. It's kinda tricky, so listen carefully. There's this device up there. A scale of swords. Moonlight can bring items scattered around here. 
and place them on the scale. If he picks the right ones, the elevator should go straight to the top. What sort of items are we talking about? Well... At first glance, they're just ordinary, everyday objects. But they all represent the good and bad things that people like us will never get to experience in life anymore. And how is a bloody cat supposed to know what they are? Cats know more than you think. I thought you'd understand that by now. Come on then, let's get in the elevator. Nowhere near where we're supposed to be. Let's go down and start again, shall we? Thank you. 
This is it. Now let's get inside. Well, shit. Spiders. I fucking hate spiders. I kinda like them. You know, there's this dark, indescribable beauty in spiders. Really? Look at those spider eggs. Or whatever the fuck they are. They look beautiful to you. Yeah, okay. That's fucking gross. Relax, you're safe now. Whatever you saw in there, it's gone.
whoever smokes this cigarette will receive your cancer. Choose carefully who you give it to. Once the smoke hits their lungs, there will be no going back. Only death and suffering. And for you, a new life. Now forget you ever saw me. I was just a dream. A ghost. A shadow. One day we'll meet again. I'll take you with me for a long walk. Down to the river. But don't trouble yourself with that now. Now it's time to celebrate your success. Shouldn't you smile? Was Mr. Fox really just a dream? Oh, what difference does it make? What matters now is that all your tasks are done. You got what you wanted. Well, almost. It'll all be over as soon as someone smokes that special cigarette of yours. Easy to say. I didn't know it would be like this. To be honest, I'm not even sure if I can do this. Take your time. But not too long. Soon the sickness will make you weak, and then... Well, let's just say that it would be such a shame to waste your gift after you worked so hard for it. Don't you think? Angie, you all right? You haven't come down all day. I'm getting worried about you, dear. I'm sorry. I... I didn't realise. I've not been feeling too well. Oh. But I'll be down in a minute. What? Uh, no. No, no, no. You you stay in bed, darling. I, I'm managing perfectly fine here on my own. So take your time and rest, and, and don't worry about a thing. I'll go and make you a cup of tea, shall I? 
and a nice sandwich. Yes. I bet you'll feel better once you've had some food in you. You need anything, nurse? I'm going into town. I could stop at the pharmacy, get you some cough syrup or painkillers or something. No need, Kieran. Thanks, but... I just need some rest, that's all. You sure? Cause that's no bother. Not at all. I'll be fine. Well, okay. But give us a shout if you need anything, yeah? Cause, uh, I, um... We're all worried about you, nurse. You're not still upset about... You know, when I pushed you? Because I was really drunk at the time, and I just fucking... <sighs> snapped. But, that was not cool. And I know that. Okay? And I'm sorry. It's fine. Yeah? Okay, cool. Cause I was thinking, you could come over to LA when this is all over. I take you out for a meal and then we go shopping. I know some really amazing places, like you wouldn't believe. There's no such thing as a bad sandwich, really. It don't matter what you put on it. Still make for a hearty meal, but... I'm an old man. I know what I like, and I know what I don't. And nothing beats a good old ham and mustard, if you ask me. Well, I can make you one, if you're hungry. Not now, dear. I'm all right. It's just good to have you back, you know? That's very sweet of you, George. Thank you, but... I feel like I've not been very helpful the last couple of weeks. That's fine. Well, he can still take care of myself and the farm. And it's not like he's completely without help. <clears throat> well, I can see you've had a good shave and you're wearing clean clothes. Oh, yes. Thank you for noticing. Still, I should have done more. Don't be silly. When you're sick, you're sick. And there's nothing you can do about it. It won't be long before your regular care is back. God, no. We almost forgot about Stinky Joyce. I didn't realize she had a nickname. Oh, yeah. She smells so weird, I swear. She really does. And I'm not even sensitive to smells or anything. I'm a bloody farmer, for God's sake. I've been around cows all my life. And let me tell you, dear, cows don't smell like daisies. <laughs> That's for sure. But the smell Joyce has on her, it's like... Oh, I don't know. It's like chemicals. For some reason, I can't stand it. It really bothers me. I should be looking after you, not the other way around. Oh, I can still do more than everyone thinks I'm capable of. The truth is, I don't even need a carer. Sarah insisted, and I just didn't want to fight her. I wouldn't fight her either. She can kill people with just her eyes. But it's been nice having you around. You never shout at me. You give me sandwiches, and you're, you're good company. I like you, Angie, and helping you when you're sick is the least I can do. I should get back to work. Tell me what needs to be done, George. Oh, well, I would like to ask you a favour, actually. Yeah? What is it? Just uh, come to the living room and uh, grab that bag of crisps on the way, would you?
they are. And pass the crisps. The film's about to start. A film? Yes, an American one. So sit down, put your feet up, make yourself comfy. Oh, I've watched it before, but that's okay. It's one of those movies you can keep watching again and again. Where's Jenny? She's become a basement dweller lately. Whatever her problem is, she don't want to share it with me. And I don't intend to pry. Oh, come on. There's plenty of room. Just get on that bloody door. Well, they'd both fall in the water if we did that. But she could just scooch over or something. I swear, it feels like she just wants him to freeze to death. 